Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 75. He's 20, stands 6 tall. He fights out of Empower Wrestling and hails from Sheffield, Ed Jacka. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 74.1. He's 24, stands 5 at 7. He fights out of Resurrection MMA and hails from Mansfield, Dorian Sviatkovsky. Your referee, Mr. Phil Gifries. Uh, Dorian Sviatkovsky fighting out of the blue corner in the white shorts trimmed with gold and black. Stepping in short notice to take on the very dangerous Eid Jacob from Empower. Six and two record for Dorian. It's just 2 and 0 oh for E. Jacob, but he knows he knows what it's like to be in the cage with proficient strikers just in the two amateur fights he's had. And what these proficient strikers find out is that wrestling sometimes trumps striking. Yeah, I mean Jacob's wrestling is phenomenal. Oh, what a wonderful suplex. throw! Uh, and, and I've got to say as well, big respect to both fighters. They took this fight on 48 hours notice. This is a tough matchup for both lads. Absolutely. So to do that, you know, absolutely amazing. Shows you what, what, kind, of, uh, what kind of fighters these guys are. Uh, they, they, they don't want easy no, fights. It's, and it's a credit to the camps, the gyms, the coaches, to, to class amateurs. Who want to, who want to test themselves. Scrap 48 absolutely. hours in. Right now it's that forward pressure from E. Jacob, the empower wrestler. Yeah, I mean, we've. I mean, his wrestling on the last time he was on Almighty was so impressive. Look, I, you know, I, I rate Josh Hamilton, his last opponent, opponent very, very highly, and Jakob managed to neutralize everything that made Hamilton dangerous, and that's what Swiatkowski's going to have to avoid today. Yeah, I mean, he obviously needs to to break away, and he's done that. He's broke away. Let's see what happens now. See if he can get his striking game going. Ooh. And it's the wrestler again that lands first. I mean, Jacob looks so tight with his striking, doesn't he? Look at oh! oh! But there Dorian we go! Drops him. He's and now look in the ground and pound it. Going straight back to the wrestling. Maybe Jacob. Dorian should have stepped back a little bit I and got him back to his yep. feet. Because Jacob's go-to there was to get the, to get the takedown. And as soon as he felt he was in range, he clinches, he closes the distance, and he's going to use this time to clear his head. Because that wasn't a slip. No, no, he caught him with a big punch, but... It looks like there's a little blood there on Darian as well, on, on just yeah, under his he, nose. He's, he's certainly eaten a few shots from Another e Jacket, but this is it, isn't it? It's that grind, it's that non-stop pressure that has to be so soul-destroying. And he can do it for nine minutes yeah. as well. I mean, that, that takes some doing. It's such a physical, physical thing to do, to pick up another human being and to take them down and to hold them down. Uh, and, you know, he, that is what he's doing. But his style of wrestling is so exciting to watch because of the takedowns. And... Again, people might say, oh, it's a stall. Yeah, it could be a stall. He ate a big, big shot, and now he's clearing his head, and he's using the skills he has. <laughs> Lovely trip and, uh, again. Puts, puts Radzkarski right back on his back. I mean, the way he's, he looks like he's in a, in a worse position, he's able to turn it around like that. It's just unbelievable the way he's able to get those takedowns. But no quit at all. Straight onto the back there in as the well. In the resurrection, man. Ten seconds left, though. I think it'll be all right for 10 seconds, but it took... Well, we see oh. fights end with just a second that's on, to go. That's on. If he squeezes... That is on. Oh. I think there's 10 more seconds. I think that's the end of the fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Had that, had he got to that position 10 seconds earlier, we, we could be looking at the end of the round. What a round. Slams and knockdowns. That choke nearly at the end. I mean, the, the suplexes from Jackal, yeah. they're, they're amazing to watch. But what Dorian has done is he's shown... Eid and he's shown us one shot could change the complexion there it of was, this fight. There's the big punch. I mean, and yeah. he follows it up straight away. Yeah. You just, you just kind of wish that he'd followed it up and then got up and brought him back and continue. And again, look at that lovely just readjustment there from E. Jacob. And then to end the round, threatening with the rear naked choke, hand sneaking up to the shoulder. He's looking to lock it in, but not enough time. Yeah, I mean, he had that choke on. I think uh, if there's 10 more seconds, I think that's the end of the fight. I think but so, too. So, as they say, saved by the ball. And even though we had the big punch, I still think that round went to Jacob with the, with the oh, takedown. Oh, without doubt. No, it's, it's, 
you even just look at you just look at, at, at Dorian and he's wearing that round even more than Idiakov is. Marked up on the face, little bit cut. And we're off. Jackal does look a little bit concerned though. I think that punch was a bit of a, a shock for him. Well, he's certainly a well put together athlete is Dorian Swakowski. He looks strong. There's definitely gonna be power in those hands. Yeah, definitely. Like, like we said, he's not here to make the numbers up. Uh, 48 hours notice is, is not just a, a walk in and a walk out. He's come, to, he's come to get the win. And both these guys must have had a look at each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, they would have done before they would have accepted the fight. I mean, they didn't just say yes straight away. The coach went away uh, and looked. A lovely stiff left jab there. Rocks the head of E. Jacob, who then finds a way to gauge the distance, ducks under and straight in for the takedown. Yeah, he timed that perfectly. He knew he was going to come in for a punch and he went straight underneath. Uh, he sees he see if he can get some control on the ground because he's he struggled to get a lot of control on the ground apart from towards the end of the round where he got yeah. the choke in. Well, uh, doing everything right, you know, head pressure from Dorian there trying to push down on the head. Him and trying to get bit. back up to one knee, back up to his feet. I mean, that's impressive. That digging in that underhook, Look at bit. That. belly to belly there. Jack just drags him down. Straight into half guard as well. And you, there's no rush, no. Oh, big nice hammer, hammer fist. fist, yeah. Got to be careful. So he's got to see if he can push off it. He's putting his, his face onto his, well, the neck onto the knee. There's nothing there, really. That no, was more just that knee shield to yeah. keep Dustin. To keep oh! The, oh, up kick! He's what's wobbling his jacket. That up kick wobbled him! You, if you are... Oh, my so it's God. So it's now, you want to disengage. What? Well, it's not very often we see an up kick like that. No, nope, uh, and that he was, sent, that was he was on wa wobbly legs there. Oh my God! Um, good uh, again, Jakob. He's obviously got he's got a very good fight IQ because he knows to get straight in. Oh yeah, I'm and not get that gonna, takedown. I don't want to get hit anymore, but this is good takedown defense and a good sprawl from Swarczewski here. That was a big up kick. That was well, very big up kick. Usually the takedowns are come from Ede because he wants position. This takedown attempt came because he didn't want to get hit anymore. He's a lot of punches anymore. there on the jaw as well still. He's not giving him time to recover. Look, None look whatsoever at and it's just going to keep... Wow. I mean, this is a, a classic striker v grappler here, but to a, a, a good striker versus a good grappler. And But unfortunately, the, the striker has landed the more telling shots at the moment. And yeah. right now, you've got to be giving this round to the man in the blue corner. Absolutely. I was just going to say that. I think we've got 10 seconds left. I think it's Look a round to each. to try and ankle pick him again. I mean, no quit at all in the grind from Ejak a bit. we the got a fight here, Ray. We the, got the amount of punches he's landed in that is just unbelievable. We've got three minutes to separate these two amateur Ra warriors. A round of applause for that round. What Absolutely. a round that was. He looks, he's still sitting down. He looks, he's, he's took two big blows. The punch in round one. See if we see the up kick again now. There. Here oh, he is. Oh. Lovely. I mean. What a kick that was. A credit to its toughness that that didn't end it. He looks like he's struggling a bit though. Does, does Jakob, I mean, it's been a, it's been a tough two rounds for him. I mean, to say he won round one, but he got dropped. Then he's been dropped again in round two. I mean, it's uh He's certainly having to work for this win. Oh, absolutely. Look, certainly. And, and, and there's no guarantee that the win's coming his way. This no. We've got 180 seconds to separate these two young prospects. For me, he looks he looks like he's struggling a little bit. He's, this has definitely been his toughest fight to date. Oh, without question. You talked about his last fight. He had a tough opponent on his last fight, Josh, but he, yeah. he made it look relatively he did. straightforward. This but, young, but Josh... He avoided everything heavy Josh threw, whereas Dorian has managed to land at least yeah. two or three that have really made Jakob think about how he wants to approach the round. Dorian is definitely a finisher. I mean, a lot of people would have been out with one of those blows, never mind oh. having took both of them. Let's see what we get here. You know, it's clear what we need, what needs to happen. Jakob needs to get the takedown. Yeah, get, uh, take top position, get take control. Not not get comfortable standing over him though. After what happened with that with that up kick. Well, now in the side control. Here. Look at that. He's climbing up the cage, yeah. Dorian, and he's still trying to work his way out of what is a you know a, a really difficult position to be in. Yeah, if I were 
Has he cut the leg across the face? If I were I'd just be pulling him, those hips away from the cage a little bit, making sure those he couldn't get those feet planted to push off. Wow, look at that. He's going to be back to his feet, and he takes the no, back. Wow, beautiful transition there. One hook in. Yeah, that was a very good transition. I mean, that was a great sweep there, but Jackup was light, was was uh, was was ready for that, and he jumped straight onto the back there. Can he get that second hook in? Yeah. Now he's got the back. He's got the body triangle as well. Um, is minute, he going to work? Minute and 50 seconds left to yeah. work for that rear naked. But all the time he's eating shots. Yeah, they don't look nice, those shots, do they? He's giving him something to think about. Because while he's taking those shots, he's not working for that rear naked choke, is he? Nope. But it's that risk versus reward for Dorian now because if he focuses on landing those little backward shots, he's going to present that choking opportunity. And, but he's doing more damage out of the two at the moment in this position, which is unusual. He seems quite comfortable to throw those punches. He must be very comfortable with defending against the rear naked choke. Because that, you know, could leave you open for Absolutely. it, couldn't it? Absolutely. Well, he's done well so far. He's, again, fighting, at home, controlling the wrists. You've got to feel with a minute to go, though. Dorian needs to get back to his feet. Oh, yeah, I don't gonna care lose what anybody decision. says. You, nobody, nobody, nobody wants an entire round with somebody on their back. Doesn't matter how many shots you throw in. Yeah, Jacob's looking very good now. I think he needed this round to compose and clear his head after that up kick. Yeah. I think that up kick hurt him more than the punch. Uh, oh, without question. But, but he's locked in that body triangle and... For all the money in the world, why would you stand? No, he's done. He's done. You can't be he's done what he needs anybody to do. up from here. No, not at all. He's done exactly what he needs to do. Um, he's ro rode the back. He's throwing punches. He's taking punches, but he's throwing punches. But he's in control. Yeah, but this is not where Dorian wants to be. No, but I mean, what a what a fight it's been. What a fight it's been. To think that this was this fight was made 48 hours ago. It certainly delivered. I mean, uh, both these athletes uh, have not let have not let you down here, Ray. No, not at all. Absolutely brilliant fight, brilliant fight. I think uh, Jacob has taken that in in round three. I think so but too. Just, what a cracking fight! Just positional control, but showed a lot of heart in that fight. His eye, his eye looks pretty bad, doesn't it? It does look quite swollen, and uh, again, can take nothing away from Dorian. Switkowski, we, you know, he came in here, as you said, 48 hours notice against uh, a young man that has just out grappled everyone he's been in the cage with so far. Oh, what well, it was a phenomenal and fight. Made this a fight. Yeah, I mean, with the two biggest blows in, in the in the fight with a with a with a punch the, and the kick and the, the up kick. Yeah, the moments that you thought could it could be finished. But then at the end of the first, we were locking in a rear naked yeah. choke. In we've the had second, some we were amazing slams as well. So, so, I mean, we've had suplexes. I mean, what a, this was, what a fight it's been. This was an excellent, excellent fight. But it's the sort of thing you come to expect at Almighty Fighting Championships, right? The amateurs here, the matchmaking, absolutely brilliant. Uh, I mean, I'm given people like this to work with I, I can't go wrong really a bit but let, let's be honest with you the, the level of amateurs in this country is phenomenal mr steph khan is in the cage he's ready to make this one official let's turn it over to him ladies and gentlemen after three half four round we go to the judges at scorecard 29 28 29 28 and 29 28 declaring your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner ed jacker Please show your appreciation for Dorian Sviatkovsky.